Hi, my name is Lori, and today I'm going to talk to you about metabolic testing. We have two different metabolic tests that we do here at Total Health Systems. The first one um, is called the Resting Metabolic Rate Test, also referred to as RMR. And what that test does is measures your resting metabolic rate. And the, num the reason this number is important is that is the number of calories that your body burns if you were comatose in a hospital bed. Not a nice thing to think about, but it's a good way for me to explain to you what RMR is. So if you were laying comatose in a hospital bed, your body is still burning calories, just trying to keep you alive. And if we can measure that number, then we are on our way to figuring out how many calories you burn living your life. And we really need to know that number to figure out how many calories you should be eating, whether your goal is to gain weight or lose weight. This RMR number makes up 60 to 70% of all of the calories you burn all day long. So if I can get a very accurate number for that, then we're doing a pretty good job of figuring out how many calories you're burning in a 24-hour period. So the way that we measure that is real simple. You come in, you see me in the morning when you're as close to a rested state as possible. You have no breakfast, no coffee. That's usually the hard part for people, but you just kind of roll out of bed. You can brush your teeth, come in and see me, and then you're going to sit in a chair and breathe into a tube pretty easy. Usually the test takes anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes. As soon as the computer recognizes that we have enough good information, the test is done. I analyze it and I explain it to you. And from that point we figure out, all right, here's your RMR. Now let's figure out how many calories we should add in there because you're not comatose. Let's add in how many calories you burn with exercise. And that gives us a number. And let's say that number, just for an example, is 2,000. Okay, great, you're burning 2,000 calories a day. Well, if your goal is to lose weight, I know that I don't want you to eat 2,000 calories a day. So I'm going to make a recommendation as to how many calories you should be eating. The trick comes in that I want you to eat less than that number, but more than your resting metabolic rate. So some of you may have heard that, oh, sometimes in order to lose weight, you need to actually eat more. So once we know that resting metabolic rate number, that RMR, I know I can't have you eat less than that. And what happens if you are eating less than that is your metabolism can actually slow down. And needless to say, if you're eating less than that, you're probably not giving enough nutrition anyway. So we want to find out what this number is. And like I said, it's a very simple test. Just come in breathe into a tube for 10 to 20 minutes and you go from there. The other metabolic test that we also do here is called an exercise metabolic test and during that test you um, are exercising whether it's on a bike, a treadmill, or elliptical, doesn't matter whichever you prefer um, and I am measuring your heart rate and also measuring how much oxygen you are bringing in and how much carbon dioxide you are exhaling and the computer and the fancy machine does some analysis on that and once the test is done I do some more analysis on that and then I determine at what heart rate you are burning a good percentage of fat and at what heart rate you are no longer using fat as a fuel and your body is burning 100% carbohydrate. Once I know both of these numbers I can make some recommendations for your cardio workout. So I will give you, um, based off your test results, a 12-week training program that tells you, hey, between this minute and this minute, I want your heart rate to be between here and here. Between this minute and this minute, I want your heart rate between here and here. And there's a progression in that 12 weeks. Usually the workouts start out pretty easy in those lower heart rate zones where you're burning a high percentage of fat. And as you go through the 12 weeks of working out, I start having you work out more and more intense, working up higher and higher calorie burn rates, burning more and more carbohydrates. At the end of that 12 weeks, we redo the test and see if those numbers have changed and if we need to change your cardio workouts. A lot of my clients will go ahead and have this assessment done and what they really enjoy about it is that they don't have to think. They know, 
Okay, go to my folder, here's my workout for today. Boom, just follow along. No thinking, just do it. You don't have to walk into the treadmill and go, oh, what should I do today? Should I do incline? Should I do speed? Should I don't go hard, go easy, go the same? You don't have to think about it. I've already done all of that for you and planned your 12 weeks of cardio. So that is uh, the two metabolic tests that we do here. Both of them have their place. Some people will like to have both tests done. Just depends on what your goals are and where you are right now, either with working with your diet or if you're working more with your um, exercise regimen. Um, both of those tests have a place. So if you have more questions on it, just give us a call. Um, set up a fitness consultation with me and we'll get you in here. You and I can talk about where you are and what tests might be appropriate right now or we'll go ahead and schedule both of them.